At first, go to Google and search for Ubuntu 17.10. Now you have to download Ubuntu ISO file as per your PC system. I have already downloaded 64 bit according to my PC system. So I am not downloading it anymore. Next you need to download Refuse. From here. Just download this file. I have downloaded the file on the desktop for my convenience. Now you have to burn Ubuntu ISO file to USB with refuse. Just follow the procedure. First, insert a removable drive into your PC. Remember that the drive must be at least 8 GB of capacities and it must be completely empty. Next, open the refuse. You do not have to change anything here. Just click here and select Ubuntu ISO file. And click on open. Then click on start. Then click on ok. And ok. Now be patient for a while until the process is complete and until it's ready for use. Yes, it is ready. Now click on close. After that, usually should go to the disk manager. C drives has to create a partition for Ubuntu. But I will not create any partition here because I am going to install Ubuntu alongside Windows 10 in a new way and it is completely safe and easy way. Just click on restart and be ready to enter your PC's BIOS. Go to boot menu, then select inserted removable drive, and save configuration changes and exit.
Yeah, now it is ready to install. Just click on install Ubuntu. Here you can connect your Wi-Fi connection, but I do not want to connect right now. Next, click on this checkbox, then click on continue. Now, this is the most important step. Generally, you have to create a partition by going to the something else option. But now I will show you the easiest way without any kind of data loss and it is 100% safe way. Just click on this option, install Ubuntu alongside Windows 10. Just drag and partition as much space as you want for Ubuntu. I think 20 GB enough for Ubuntu. Just click on install now. And click on continue. Then choose your location. Type your name or which you want. I am writing my name here. Now be patient for a while until the process is complete and until it is ready for use. Yeah, it is complete. Before clicking restart, do not forget to remove the removable device from PC. Patient for a while, do not do anything. Ubuntu will start automatically. Yes, it is complete. Now, let's see Windows 10 is working properly or not. Yeah, it is working properly and very fast also. 
Now let's see Ubuntu 17.10 is working properly or not. Yeah, done. It's working properly and very fastly. We hope you will like it. Of course, let us know your opinion. If you have any kind of question, let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys, don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching.